as I told you, you have three stages: trading, profit and loss, and balance sheet. Debit side we have to use it as to. Credit side we have to use it as buy. Office rent we will not take only. Office rent we call it as running expenses. What is direct expenses? Expenses incurred for manufacturing. Hello everyone, I am your other sir, lecturing with Yashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the session 2 of topic called Financial Statement 1. In the session 1, we understood what do you mean by financial statement, the need, objectives of financial statement. And also with the diagram, we understood under financial statement, what will come. Yes, under financial statement, trading, p and and balance sheet will come. Trading and p and together, we call it as income statement. And balance sheet, it is separate. In balance sheet, it shows the worth of your company, the liability of your company. That shows by your balance sheet. Now, in today's session, what we are going to do? Yes, in today's session, we will work out the first part, that is, trading account as i told you you have three stages trading profit and loss and balance sheet first thing trading account we will do individual you may get for six marks trading six or p and l six marks or balance sheet six marks any one can be asked for your six marks question now this is your first problem on trading account. Before we go to trading account, we should understand what? The format. We will understand the format, then we will come for your trading account. Now, while doing trading account, we have to mention that trading account of XYZ company. In case, trading it is a Manoj company. Trading account of Manoj company limited. The heading is must. After that, your column should be like this. Yeah, your columns must be like this. So, there are two columns. One we call it as debit and the another one column we call it as credit. Now, this will be particulars. Particulars. This will be amount. Again, particulars and amount. So, this is your basic column as well as basic information you have to fill. Now, amount in rupees. Why? Because in India we call we use currency called rupees. If you are doing same accounts in abroad, we you, we can use it as dollars. Yes. Now, here also amount in rupees. Just you have to mention that symbol, rupee symbol. Heading must be trading account of some XYZ company limited. For the year ended or uh, for the year 2017, whatever year mentioned we have to consider. Now, this will be your basic format you have to mention this now what things come inside this format we'll learn that now in this debit side this we call it as debit and this side we call it as credit yeah so what do you mean by debit i told you in the first class debit means deal credit means what girls remember that this we call it as debit and this we call it as credit. Now, under this first one, two opening stock. Debit side we have to use it as two. Credit side we have to use it as buy. Two opening stock. Two purchases. Opening stock and purchases to direct expenses. 
So these are your debit side. What will come under debit side? Without seeing board, you have to tell me now. Debit side, you will get opening stock, purchases, direct expenses. What will come under credit side? Yes. Now, buy. You have purchases. Opposite of purchases, sales. Buy. Sales. Remember, whatever account you use, you have to mention opening stock account, purchase account, your sales account. After this, you have opening stock. What is the opposite of opening stock? Yes. Opposite of opening stock is by closing stock. So this is your trading account. Easy or very easy? Very easy. What is the format? So read that once. Without seeing board, you have to tell me now. Opening debit side, what will come? Yes. Opening stock, purchases, and direct expenses. What will come under credit side? Sales as well as closing stock. Only five things comes in your trading account. Now. In this, you will get small, small adjustment. I'll explain you that. Now, first one, opening stock. You will not get any adjustment on opening stock. They will give you directly, we write opening stock, so on, so on. Maybe 10 lakh, 1 lakh, whatever it may be. Now, then, purchases. Purchases, you may get adjustment. What kind of adjustment? So, purchases, what kind of adjustment you may get means, they will give you in the question paper, Cash purchase, credit purchase, cash purchase some 5 lakh, credit purchase some 5 lakh. Like this they will give you in your question paper. Then how much purchases we have to mention? Yes, we have to mention 5 plus 5, how much? 10 lakh. Your purchases is how much? 10 lakh. Simple. Cash and credit together we have to consider as a purchases. One more adjustment they will give you. Purchase return some 1 lakh. Now again I will explain you. In the question paper they have given cash purchase 5 lakh. Credit purchase 5 lakh. Purchase return is 1 lakh. How to calculate? Yes. What is your cash purchase? 5. Now, what is your credit purchase? 5. 5 plus 5, how much? 10 lakh. Out of 10 lakh purchase, you may feel that some goods are damaged. Some goods are old stock. What you will do? Whatever you have purchased, once if you found that it is a damaged one, not completely damaged, little uh, stock is damaged. 1 lakh worth stock is damaged. What you will do? You will give it back to the owner. Means how much total purchased? 10 lakh. How much you have given back? 1 lakh. 10 minus 1. What is your answer? Your purchases are 9 lakh. Any doubt? Other than this, you will not get any adjustment. Clear? Now, cash purchase 5 lakh. Credit purchase, 5 lakh. If they have given only these two, 5 plus 5, your purchases are 10 lakh. If they have given one more information called purchase return. Return means what? Whatever you have purchased, you gave it back. Means from 10 lakh, you have to minus 1 lakh. 10 minus 1, your answer is how much? 9 lakh. Now, your purchases will be 9 lakh. Any doubt? No. Your opening stock is done your purchases also done. Similarly, your sales, same adjustment, they will give you cash sales, credit sales, simple, add both, 10 lakh is your sales. One more adjustment they will give you, sales return means you have sold, later it is damaged, again you will get it back, that is called sales return, same concept. 10 lakh minus 1 lakh, 9 lakh is your sales. Same adjustment for purchases, same adjustment for sales. Clear? Yes. In your question paper, they may give you directly what is sales. 
or they may give you adjustments like this other than this you will not get any adjustments on purchases and sales hope you are clear yes now now we'll go for direct expenses what are the direct expenses yes i know direct expenses we will get just i'll give you five or six list i know that only you will get every problem same thing will be repeated first one wages second freight carriage inward next coal fuel and gas next one octroi o c t r o i another one is dock and clearing charges so these are the direct expenses every problem you will not get all these expenses i have given you complete list of your direct expenses first we will understand what is direct expenses now any expenses incurred for manufacturing we call it as direct expenses again i'll repeat any expense there are two kinds of expenses one is manufacturing expenses another one is business running expenses again i'll tell you two types of expenses one is what manufacturing expenses another one is business running expenses now what do you mean by business running expenses like if you want to run your business you have to pay rent you have to pay salary to your workers you have to pay your electricity bill you have to pay your insurance charges you have to do depreciation i'll explain you what is depreciation later now these are the expenses we call it as repair charges all call it as indirect expenses means to run your business to run your show you have to pay those expenses now what are the direct expenses to manufacture for example you are the manufacturer of tire to manufacture whatever expenses required raw materials power you need and freight means transportation you have to pay to your workers all expenses for the manufacturing purpose we call it as direct expenses clear what is direct expenses expenses incurred for manufacturing what is indirect expenses expenses incurred to run business now we consider only direct expenses now i'll explain you one by one first one is wages wages means what for example i gave you example of rubber industry they manufacture tires while there are two types of employees will be there one will be mechanic another one will be normal employees means the person who works with machines who manufactures another type of employee maybe the security guard officer your manager maybe the accountant all comes under second type of employees now in this the first type is what who works with machine the laborers are as mechanics are as we call it as workers comes under category 1 category 2 administration staff so those are indirect these are direct whatever the salary or whatever amount given to the workers we call it as wages because they works with machine now your wages is done what is the second one freight freight remember transportation if you want to transport your goods from one place to another place we call it as freight carriage inward what is carriage inward for example it is a big industry in the industry within the compound one department for manufacturing another department for packing just take example of mrf i take example of jk tires now the whole premises is around 10 kilometers now 
one building to another building it is around what one kilometer or 500 meters now i'll give you example this is mrf factory now they manufacture here the packing will be here from here to here it is around one kilometer within the compound one kilometer they have to take the tire for packing now from here to here they cannot carry the tire what they will do they will use small trolley or they will use small vehicle to shift from here to here this transportation we call it as carriage inward carriage means carrying the goods inward means within the compound that is called carriage inward clear yes after this coal fuel gas one more is there power coal fuel gas and power coal you know gas normally uh, in companies normally at home we use a domestic gas similarly they are also used for the machinery purpose fuel means same diesel or petrol what they use now octroi o c t r o i o c t r o i i'll write it here o c t r o i what do you mean by octroi yes the octroi is very simple uh, meaning so there is a amount given while shifting goods one place to another place the entry fees you have to pay that we call it as octroi clear what do you mean by octroi the entry fees octroi and dock devoc dock fees what is dock and octroi means in your shipping business loading or unloading of your goods you have to pay some amount again i'll repeat if you want to load or unload your goods in shipping business we have to pay some amount that is one what is second one is to enter in any place for entry fees you have to pay these two we call it as octroi and dock fees octroi and dock fees these are direct expenses will be given in your question paper just take it as direct expenses last one you are clearing charges these are direct expenses they will not give you all expenses they may give you any one or two out of this any doubt in the format no now i'll tell you how to calculate now simple calculation in this in the examination they have given opening stock is one lakh your purchases some one lakh your all direct expenses one lakh these are your expenses these are your income now your sales they have given some 8 lakh closing stock they have given 2 lakh clear these are the information they have given we filled everything you understood the format you understood what are the direct expenses and you also understood how to fill amount now what is next yes after you have two types of profit one is gross profit and the one is net profit i'll explain you later what is gross and what is net now in this we calculate only gross profit again i'm telling you i'll explain you what is gross and net profit later just remember while doing trading account we calculate only gross profit now so we have all the information we have numbers also just after filling all the numbers we have to see which side is more now one plus one two lakh two plus one how much three lakh now eight lakh plus two lakh how much ten lakh which side is more yes this said you have only three lakh but on the credit side you have ten lakh so higher value should be written both the sides again i'll repeat higher value should be written both the sides now 8 plus 2 it is your 10 lakh how much 8 plus 2 10 lakh same amount here also 10 lakh now up to this any doubt no now 
you have only one, two, three, three. But we have written how much? Ten lakh. Why we have written uh, ten lakh? It should be three lakh. No, no. Why? Because this is your income. This is your expenditure. Your income is more. Expenditure is less. Now, from ten lakh, if you minus your three lakh, what is the left out amount? Yes, the balance is seven lakh. This we call it as profit. Clear? Yes. Your income is ten lakh. Your expenditure is one plus one plus one, three lakh. From ten lakh, if you minus three lakh, you will get only seven lakh. That seven lakh is what your profit. Now I'll explain you what is gross profit. As I told you, you have two types of expenses. One is manufacturing expenses. Another one is running expenses. Now, from your income, you deducted, you minus only what? Manufacturing expenses means from ten lakh, you deducted three lakh, you got seven lakh. This three lakh is what? Only manufacturing expenses. You have not yet deducted running expenses. Clear? So our work is not done yet. So we have done only what manufacturing expense. So still we have to do. That's why we call it as gross profit. It is not your final profit. It is a temporary profit. That is your gross profit. So this is called your trading account. As I told you, after trading, what will come? Profit and loss account. In profit and loss account, we calculate running expenses. Maybe running expenses may be four lakh. Seven minus four lakh. Your net profit, your final profit will be three lakh. Hope you understood what is gross profit. Clear? Right now we are calculating only gross profit. Why? Because we are doing six marks problem for gross profit. Clear? Yes, we'll go for the problem. In the problem, I'll not explain you the format. We'll do it without format in that because already I explained you what is the format. Remember, write down all the key points from this. So we'll go for the problem number one. So this is your problem number one. Already I explained you what is the format to do problem. Now, from the following balance extracted from the books of Ahuja and Nanda, prepare trading account. We are supposed to prepare only what trading account. Now, just I'll read out one by one. In your mind, you imagine whether it comes under debit, whether it comes under credit. Never tell that left side, right side, because you are what account students. Yes, being an account student, you should say that it comes under debit, it comes under credit. Clear? I'll go back to your format. See, this is your format. This we call it as debit. This we call it as credit. Remember everything. I'll go back to your problem. You should only say that which comes here, which comes this side. I'll give you simple logic. What is the logic means? Credit said what will come? Sales, closing stock. What will come? Sales, closing stock. Other than these two, everything comes under debit. Easy. Yes. So, you know to remember everything. Remember only two things, sales, closing stock. Other than these two, everything comes under debit. Clear? Yes. Now, opening stock. So, I'll write down one by one. Opening stock, what? Debit side, purchases, debit, sales, credit, purchase, return. These two will come later. As I told you, we have to minus carriage inward debit factory rent debit office rent we will not take only office rent we call it as running expenses so we will not factory why we consider means factory only or manufacturing happens that's why factory rent we have to consider now dock and clearing charges debit freight and octroy debit coal gas and water debit clear as i told you except your sales closing stock not given in your question so you can leave it that so except that everything is what 
that would say shall i write one by one yes so uh, what is the name of the company measures anjali so we have to mention that also so here trading account of measures anjali for the year so what is the year mentioned they have not mentioned the year so you can leave it as it is for the year now in this as i told you this is what debit and this one is what credit this is must you have to mention or else you will lose half marks now amount in rupees amount in rupees this is also compulsory now i will write down one by one to opening stock to opening stock so what is the opening stock i'll go back your opening stock is 60000 opening stock 60000 purchases how much 3 lakh but you have adjustment what is the adjustment purchase return 18000 if it is return what we should do we should minus now purchases 3 lakh return is how much 80000 to purchases 3 lakh minus purchase return 18000 what is the answer yes 2 lakh 80 2000 so you have to write the inner, inner column inner column is this is the main column whatever calculation you do uh, within the main column we call it as inner column now purchases done after purchases what will come direct expenses now write down all the direct expenses what we have we have carriage inward 15000 carriage inward is 15000 next carriage inward is done your purchases over purchase return also over factory rent 18000 factory rent 18000 after this what office rent as i told you office your machinery will not be there in the office so it is a running expenses we will not consider so dock and clearing charges dock and clearing charges dock and clearing charges as i told you shipping if you want to load or unload your goods then you have to pay some amount that is called dock and clearing charges so how much you have 48000 after this what freight and octroi octroi as i told you the entrance fees you have to pay if you want to ship goods from one place to another place so how much 6500 what is the next one freight octroi is over coal gas and water i'll write short form here but remember you have to write completely coal gas and water i have given two direct expenses so i am not writing two again if you are doing individually then you have to mention two octroi two wages everything you have to mention how much it is 10000 your debit side everything is done now we'll go for the credit side so what will come under credit side only two thing sales and closing stock in this problem closing stock not given so we have only what sales sales they have given 7 lakh 50000 by 7 lakh 50 thousand so you are done with your problem as i told you what we should do we have to see which side is what more now 
If you add everything, you cannot cross 750. That's why 750 itself more. Now write down your total is 750,000. Higher value should be written what? Both the sides. Yes. 750,000. Now what you should do? You have to add everything. If you add everything, it is around 4,39,500. So, what is your total? 7,50,000. So, minus from this to this, you will get around 5, 6 lakh, 7 lakh. 3 lakh, 11,000 you will get. So, to gross profit, around 3 lakh, 11,000. From the total, I have deducted everything. Just cross check once. Yeah, it is correct. So you got around 3,11,000 as your gross profit. Hope you understood. So this is all about your trading account. Easy, but you have to remember the format. We'll go for the second problem. That will be homework for you. Just I'll explain you. You only have to do that. Yeah, this is your second problem. As I told you, this is a homework for your today's session. Now. Open in stock, as I told you, two things what two things comes under credit side. Now, in this, open in stock what debit, credit purchases debit, cash purchases debit. As I told you, if it is a cash and credit, what you should do? We should add. Now, credit sales credit, cash sales credit, wages debit, closing stock credit, sales return. You have to minus from sales. Purchase return you have to minus from purchases. But I will do this problem. From the next session I will give you homework. Now, so you know the format. You have to write the heading. The heading is what? Trading account. Trading account of what is the name? Ahuja and Nanda. Of Ahuja and Nanda for the year ending whatever year they have given we have to mention after that so this must be debit and this must be credit so amount in rupees amount in rupees you have to mention that rest of the things are easy we have opening stock to opening stock how much we have opening stock we have 25,000 25,000 now we have credit purchase cash purchase and purchase return also I gave you example how to do that we'll solve this now to credit purchase to cash purchase minus purchase return now your credit opening stock over credit purchase 7 lakh 50 what do we call this we call it as inner column now cash purchase 3 lakh purchase return we have 10,000 Seven lakh fifty plus three lakh ten lakh fifty. From my that, if you minus ten thousand, it will be ten lakh forty thousand. Your purchases are done. Now, your sales information they have given. Before that, we'll consider wages. Wages is one lakh. Two wages, one lakh. Your debit side, all the information are done. We'll go with the credit side. So credit side, again, same type. By, you have credit sales and cash sales minus sales return. I have less space, so I'm using shortcuts. In your book, please don't use any shortcuts. Complete, you have to write. Now, your credit sales 12 lakh, cash sales 4 lakh. Credit sales 
ट्वेल्व लैक कैश इज फोर लैक एंड हाउ मच इज योर रिटर्न योर रिटर्न क्रेडिट इज ओवर कैश इज ओवर योर सेल्स रिटर्न इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड नाउ What is the answer? Twelve plus four, sixteen. Sixteen minus fifty, fifteen lakh fifty thousand. So your ninety percent problem is done. What is the rest one? Yes, closing stock. Your closing stock they have given how much? Thirty. By closing stock. So what is this opening stock and closing? Yes, before you start your business for the current year, whatever stocks you have in your godown, that is called opening stock. At the end of the financial year, as you know, thirty first March is your financial year. At the end of the financial year, unsold stock we call it as closing stock. So the raw materials which are not yet used. Are the goods which are ready to sell but you have not yet sold? That is called closing stock. Normally, closing stock, whatever we write here, is your finished goods. Clear? Yeah. Now, closing stock, how much they have given? Yes, they have given thirty thousand. Yeah. Now, what is the logic? Which side is more? Your debit side, if you add, it is around ten and eleven lakh. But this side, you will get more than fifteen lakh. Fifteen lakh fifty plus thirty, how much? Fifteen lakh eighty. Now, fifteen lakh eighty thousand. As I told you, whichever is higher should be written what both the sides. Now, fifteen lakh eighty thousand. From fifteen lakh eighty, what you should do? You have to minus rest of the things. Now. Just check what is the total. So, twenty-five thousand plus ten lakh forty plus eleven lakh sixty-five thousand. Eleven lakh sixty-five thousand minus fifteen lakh eighty thousand. How much you will get? So you will get around twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Four lakh fifteen thousand is your answer. Four lakh fifteen thousand is called as two gross profit. You know what is gross profit? Why we call it as gross profit? Only your manufacturing expenses are deducted. Your running expenses are not at deducted. If you minus that also, we call it as net profit. Clear? Yes. Now the total is ten eleven lakh forty eleven lakh sixty five. Yes. Fifteen lakh eight. Yeah, it is correct. Your gross profit is how much? Four lakh fifteen thousand. So write down this problem. Write down the calculation also. So today we completed the trading account, uh, and also we understood what are the individual direct expenses with explanation. We worked out two problems on trading account. So it is easy if you work out. So I'll end this session with a saying that. learn concept and earn marks thank you